I'm in an introduction to programming class and we use C++. Mistake number one, I don't understand why schools, well, I understand why, but if you want to teach people how to program, C++ would be the last language I would use to teach introduction to programming to anybody. The idea that people have in terms of choosing C++ as the first programming language, they'll say, well, C++ is the basic language. It teaches you all the basic ideas and principles, and thus it will prepare you for all types of programming. No, no. That would be like saying, you know what? Mike Tyson is the best fighter in the world. So we're going to throw you in the ring against Mike Tyson day one because that's going to really teach you how to fight because you'll be fighting with the best. You never want to teach C++ as the first language because it's just too complex. You're going to get much better results if you just teach an easier to understand language like Python or JavaScript, for example. I'll have no sirens all day. I'll hit record and then some guy, a local ambulance driver or a cop will say, Hey, Steph's recording. Let's go buy his place, buzz him. Everyone copy and paste all the answers, and I don't know if I'm learning anything. I want to understand, but it's so much information and would take an immense amount of work outside of the extra hours spent on assignments. That also makes no sense, copy paste. And I'm making good grade, but I don't think I'm learning poop squat. I totally understand, uh, Mr. No, Miss Lana Rose. It's not you. It's silly that they'd be teaching C++ as a first language, number one. So this is what you should do. If you want to speed up the learning process, I would actually maybe consider learning a simple language like Python. The language is a lot easier to learn because there's a lot less to consider, but the principles and the techniques are, are identical to C++ in many respects. So when you understand how to do something much more easily with Python, for you to translate that to C++ will be, uh, will be not a challenge whatsoever. Another thing you should do is you should write a little bit of code every day. Not copy and paste. Write the code. Simple stuff. Create a function. Uh, create a method. Create a class. You know, stuff like that. Uh, run through iteration. Uh, you know, while loops, fors, etc. And then get it to work. Compile. Get it to work. And then break it. See what the error message is. Uh, are, and then take it from there. If you do that, writing code every day is going to tell your brain that you should do something. The problem with cut and pasting is you're not exercising that aspect of your brain that will uh, lead to comprehension. So cut and paste is not your friend when you're trying to intellectually process the information that you're learning. You have to write the code Try to logically get something to work. So try something simple now. Create a simple class in C++ and uh, create a simple function in C++ that outputs uh, some sort of, uh, takes in an argument, returns some value. Simple things. Start with simple things. Write out the code from scratch without copying, pasting. That's what I suggest you do. Or, as I said, learn another language, like a simple language, like a Python or a JavaScript, because I'll go back to my fighting analogy. If you go in the ring and fight with uh, Mike Tyson, it'll just knock you out in a few seconds and you won't learn anything, except how to be knocked out. But if you get in a ring with a, a much easier fighter, somebody who's not nearly as dangerous, and where you have a chance to, to exchange with them, then you will learn. And this will build you up to the eventuality where Mike Tyson won't knock you out in 10 seconds. He'll knock you out in 25 seconds. But you'll be twice as good, right? So there you go. I don't understand why. Well, I understand, but schools should not be teaching C++ as a first language. That's silly uh, beyond belief. It shows a general lack of understanding of how to educate people. I know. I've been teaching people for years. I've been working with schools for over a decade now, delivering curriculum. Well over a million students have used my programs. We got all the feedback from the teachers, feedback from many, many students. We looked at their progress. We analyzed uh, how they use the software, excuse me, how they use the course material. And so we know intimately what works and what doesn't work in terms of education. So if you're learning C++, you're having a difficult time, 
don't feel bad about it. C++ is a very challenging language to learn as a first language. Personally, if I was the dean of the school, the faculty head, I would say your first language you're teaching the students is Python or JavaScript. And then after they've done those two languages, then I would consider C++ so they can learn to do embedded systems and stuff. But anyway, that's another story. I hope this is useful. Don't give up.